I'm joined today by David De La Rosa, Senior Vice President of Advisory and Consulting at Green Street Advisors. Welcome, David. Thank you for having me. So given the size and history of the U.S. REIT market and the new real estate classifications, what are some of the best practices that you're seeing? Well, sir, Green Street Advisors has been around for over 30 years. And in that time, what we have found is best-in-class companies tend to have the highest quality portfolios. They have specialized investment strategies. They're good capital allocators. They have strong balance sheets and limited development pipelines. But more importantly, these are companies that have really good corporate governance and shareholder friendly practices. How would companies in other countries try and integrate some of these US best practices? Well I would say there are two key steps. The first step is for these management teams to educate themselves on the history of the US REIT market, the landscape of companies, and the case studies of successes and failures. And the second step would be to use these learnings as a starting point for evaluating potential changes to their own strategies. And what management teams will find is some changes can be made in the near term, while others will just have to be considerations for the long term. And are there any U.S. best practices that may not be exportable outside of the country? I think the key ingredients to becoming best in class are rather similar across borders, but slight tweaks to that recipe may be necessary. For example, in Mexico, there are regulatory limits on leverage, so the way you think about balance sheet management is going to be slightly different. Or in Australia, there are actually tenant synergies for being an owner of shopping centers and malls, so the way you think about portfolio strategy is going to be different. But despite the differences across countries, I think the U.S. REIT market is a very valuable reference point for best practices. And why should you, uh, global management teams care about U.S. best practices? Well, because we're in a low interest rate environment, the real estate asset class is very attractive and investors are looking across the globe for investment opportunities. And what this means is, if you are a management team, you need to think differently about how you benchmark your company. So if you're a company in Chile, you shouldn't just be benchmarking yourself to your Chilean peers, you should be benchmarking yourself to your LATAM and North American peers as well. And I think management teams that embrace this idea and embrace US REIT best practices will have greater success in attracting a broader and global investor base. Great. Well, thanks very much, David. Thank you. And for more news on REIT World 2016, be sure to visit REIT.com.